Hello guys, welcome to this watercolour painting tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be painting a snowy scene as it's getting very close to Christmas and I hope you enjoy watching. So here I'm just wetting my paper with the De La Rani flat wash brush and I'm also using the Windsor and Newton watercolour paints. So here I just go in with a mix of blue and black uh, just to create that nice base that I want. Um, I've actually switched here to the De La Rani round wash brush to apply the paint. And here, I love how the paint bleeds down the page. Just use a spray bottle to make that paint blend even more. Um, and then here I go in with a warm reddish brown tone. And I just really love how the paint bleeds. I, I think that's a really pretty effect. So here I switch to the De La Rani Dallon D77 brush and I'm just putting in the trees in the background. Uh, the paper is still wet so it creates that blurred effect which is really effective and um, you know it's showing that they're in the background. Here I do use the spray bottle just to re-wetten the top there because um, it had dried out a little bit. Adding more trees and re-wetting. Just very random placement here. And here I've switched to a Royal and Langnickel Essentials brush and um, this is to paint in the trees, it's um, an angled brush and I find it works really well to block in those defining shapes um, because the bristles are a little bit stiffer and the shape of it is just perfect. So obviously I've used a darker brown shade here for these trees which are in the foreground. And the paper has dried at this point because I wanted these trees to be very defined as they're going to be, yeah, in the foreground. This means it will be separated from that blurry background, which is what I wanted. I'm just adding the roots. I'm just building up the shape of those trees. This is going to be the main focal point of the painting. Here I just use random strokes just to add texture into the ground. It's picked up a little bit of a uh, this reddish brown again. And I'm adding more texture to the ground. Just being very random with my marks. And here I'm using a smaller brush, the Major Brushes number four, just to blend those marks out. Here, just blending the roots of the trees slightly.
here I begin building in the branches of the trees, which is going to add a lot of nice texture to the painting. And then I actually decided to switch over to this Pro Art 9A sword brush, which has a very interesting shape and it's perfect for creating branches because of the length and the flexibility of the bristles. Um, it creates such a random effect, they look very natural and yeah this is my favourite brush to use when doing branches, it's perfect. I find just soaking the brush in the paint and you know um, the paint is quite liquidy here so it can really flow from the brush. I've gone back to that larger brush and just adding some trees, not as dark as the ones in the foreground, but some just to put in some middle ground so it feels less um, of a break from the background and the foreground. This will just sort of tie everything in together a little bit more. I used a just a grey tone here, nothing you know, too warm, because I wanted to have that separation. I'm just going to blend the base of those trees just to make them look less harsh there. As you can see, I'm using the spray bottle again, which is very useful if you want to target the water um, and also not have to put your brush there and accidentally swipe over it and you know ruin what you've done you can just use the spray bottle just to mist in that specific area which is really useful i've gone back to that long brush again and i'm also creating some texture on the ground as you can see it just creates really interesting marks i really like using this brush and adding more branches. darkening up those trees slightly a tree over here on the right of the painting. I think that's a good example here of, um, you see this tree here on the right um, and also this one here. My brush was a little bit drier and it created an interesting texture actually when I painted those trees. Um, I thought it was really nice, it kind of goes lighter towards the centre because the brush was drier. Here I'm just peeling off the masking tape and look at those nice clean edges. So satisfying every time. <laughs> and yeah, here we go. So Here I decided to add in some white paint specks to mimic snow. This made it even more wintry. Here I just uh, pick up some white paint, get quite a lot on there and just flick your finger back over the brush and it spatters back at the painting and it looks just like snow, it's really pretty effect. I did accidentally drop a blob of paint, <laughs> so I had to wipe that up. 
Um, but yeah, apart from that, <laughs> I really like the way this painting turned out. Here I'm just adding more spatters. It's quite fun to do this step, to be honest. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing it more in the future. It really does give that snowy effect. It's just perfect. I like how um, the initial color I put in the background creates a very misty effect. I think it works really well, the color that I chose. And then the warmer tones on the bottom of the painting, just warm it up, which is really nice. Yeah, so I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you would consider subscribing and liking the video. Also, leave me a comment. All right, thank you guys. Bye-bye now.